The Myth of the Minotaur The myth of the Minotaur begins with King Minos of Crete, powerful ruler seeking to solidify his authority. Prove his divine right to rule, Minos prayed to Poseidon, the god of the sea, asking for a sign. Poseidon responded by sending a magnificent white bull from the sea, creature so beautiful that it seemed otherworldly. Minos was supposed to sacrifice this bull to Poseidon as an offering of gratitude, but he was so captivated by the bull's beauty that he decided to keep it for himself. This act of defiance against a god set the stage for the tragic events that followed. Angered by Minos's disobedience, Poseidon devised a cruel punishment. He cursed Minos's wife, Queen Pasiphae, with an unnatural desire for the bull. Overcome by this divine curse, Pasiphae sought the help of Daedalus, a brilliant inventor and craftsman, to satisfy her desire. Daedalus constructed a lifelike wooden cow, covered in real cowhide, in which Pasiphae hid to mate with the bull. The result of this unnatural union was the birth of the Minotaur, creature with the body of a man and the head of a bull, symbolizing the horrifying consequences of human hubris and divine retribution. The Labyrinth of Crete the birth of the Minotaur brought great shame and fear to King Minos, who wished to hide this monstrous product of divine punishment from the world. To imprison the creature, Minos turned once again to Daedalus, instructing him to design and build a structure that would confine the Minotaur forever. Daedalus created the labyrinth, an elaborate and nearly impenetrable maze beneath the palace of Knossos. The labyrinth was a marvel of engineering, so complex and disorienting that no one who entered could ever find their way out. The Minotaur was confined within this vast maze, where it roamed, fed on a gruesome diet of human flesh. The labyrinth itself became a symbol of entrapment and the inescapable consequences of Minos's earlier actions. Over time, the labyrinth and the Minotaur it contained became central to the mythology of Crete, embodying the fears and mysteries the ancient world. The labyrinth was not just a physical structure, but a representation of the intricate and often dangerous paths of life, where losing one's way could mean death. Tribute of Athens The myth takes a darker turn with the conflict between Crete and Athens. After the death of his son Androgeus, who was killed by jealous Athenians, King Minos waged war against Athens. The Athenians were defeated and, as part of the humiliating peace terms, were forced to pay a terrible tribute. Every nine years, or according to some versions, every year, Athens had to send seven young men and seven young women to Crete. These youths were led into the labyrinth to be devoured by the Minotaur, a horrifying reminder of their city's subjugation. This tribute was a source of deep sorrow and fear in Athens, as families were forced to part with their children, knowing they would meet a gruesome fate. The annual or nine yearly sending of youths to their death became a symbol of Athens' shame and the inescapable power of Crete. The people of Athens lived in dread of the Minotaur, a beast that they never saw, but whose presence loomed large in their nightmares and in the reality of their lives under Cretan dominance. The Hero Theseus. Amidst this despair, the Hero Theseus emerged as a beacon of hope for Athens. Theseus, the prince of Athens, could not stand the thought of his city continuing to pay this horrific tribute. With a strong sense of duty and a desire for glory, he volunteered to be one of the youths sent to Crete, determined to kill the Minotaur and end the cycle of terror. Theseus was known for his bravery, having already performed several heroic deeds, and he believed that he could succeed where others had failed. As Theseus prepared to face the Minotaur, he vowed to his father, King Aegeus, that he would return victorious. This pledge set the stage for his journey into the heart of Crete, where he would confront not only the monstrous Minotaur, but also the fears and challenges that had plagued Athens for years. Theseus's mission was not just a physical battle against the beast, but also a symbolic struggle to reclaim Athens' dignity and free his people from the oppressive demands of King Minos. The Role of Ariadne Upon arriving in Crete, Theseus met Ariadne, the daughter of King Minos, who became an unexpected ally. Ariadne was captivated by Theseus and fell deeply in love with him. She could not bear the thought of him perishing in the labyrinth, so she resolved to help him. Ariadne provided Theseus with a crucial tool for his survival, a ball of bread. She instructed him to unravel the thread as he ventured into the labyrinth, 
though he could trace his steps back after confronting the Minotaur. Ariadne's thread became a symbol of wisdom and foresight, offering Theseus a lifeline in the deadly maze. Without this clever strategy, Theseus would have likely been lost in the labyrinth, just like the many others who had entered before him. Ariadne's assistance highlights the importance of collaboration and intelligence in overcoming seemingly insurmountable challenges. Her role in the myth also adds a layer of complexity to the story, blending themes of love, loyalty, and betrayal. The slaying of the Minotaur. Armed with Ariadne's thread, Theseus descended into the dark and winding passages of the labyrinth, determined to find and kill the Minotaur. The labyrinth's complexity was daunting, but Theseus's resolve was unwavering. Deep within the maze, he finally encountered the Minotaur terrifying creature with immense strength and a savage nature. The battle between Theseus and the Minotaur was fierce, with Theseus using all his skills and strength to overpower the beast. Ultimately, Theseus succeeded in slaying the Minotaur, ending its reign of terror. This victory was not just a physical triumph, but also a symbolic one. By killing the Minotaur, Theseus liberated Athens from its oppressive tribute to Crete, and demonstrated the power of human courage and intelligence over brute force. The slaying of the Minotaur became one of the most celebrated feats in Greek mythology, marking Theseus as one of the greatest heroes of his time. Escape from Crete After defeating the Minotaur, Theseus retraced his steps using the thread provided by Ariadne and successfully exited the labyrinth. The surviving Athenian youths were overjoyed at their deliverance, and together, they planned their escape from Crete. Ariadne, who had risked everything to help Theseus, joined them as they fled the island, hoping to start a new life with the hero she had fallen in love with. They set sail for Athens, leaving the horrors of the labyrinth behind. However, the journey back to Athens was marred by tragedy. During a stop at the island of Naxos, Theseus abandoned Ariadne while she was asleep, for reasons that vary in different versions of the myth. Some say Theseus was instructed by the gods to leave her behind, while others suggest he did so out of neglect or a change of heart. Regardless of the reason, this act of abandonment adds a bittersweet element to the story, reflecting the complex and often harsh realities of heroism in Greek mythology. The Return to Athens Theseus's return to Athens should have been a time of celebration, but it was overshadowed by another tragedy. Before leaving, Theseus had promised his father, King Aegeus, that if he was successful in killing the Minotaur, he would raise a white sail on his ship as a signal of his victory. However, in the excitement and exhaustion of the journey, Theseus forgot to change the black sail to white. Seeing the black sail from afar, Aegeus believed that his son had died in the labyrinth. Overcome with grief, he threw himself into the sea, which was thereafter named the Aegean Sea in his memory. Theseus' return, therefore, was marked by both triumph and loss. He had saved Athens from its oppressive tribute, but the cost was the life of his father. This duality of victory and tragedy is a common theme in Greek mythology, where even the greatest heroes often pay a heavy price for their achievements. The story of Theseus' return emphasizes the idea that heroism is complex and that the consequences of even the noblest actions can be profound and far-reaching. Symbolism of the Minotaur Myth The myth of the Minotaur is laden with symbolism, exploring the darker aspects of human nature and the consequences of defying the god. The Minotaur itself, with its half-man, half-bull form, represents the monstrous and uncontrollable elements within humanity, primal instincts that can lead to destruction if left unchecked. Creature's existence is the result of a series of transgressions, Minos's greed, Asifi's unnatural desire, and Poseidon's wrath. The Minotaur symbolizes the punishment that comes from hubris and the breakdown of natural order. The labyrinth, on the other hand, symbolizes the complexity and challenges of life. Its twisting, disorienting paths represent the difficulties and dangers that people must navigate. The Minotaur at the center of the labyrinth embodies the fear and danger that lie in wait within these challenges. Theseus's journey through the labyrinth Guided by Ariadne's thread can be seen as a metaphor for the human struggle to find a way through the confusion and chaos of life, relying on intelligence, courage, and support from others to emerge victorious. Cultural Impact Cultural Impact and Legacy 
The myth of the Minotaur has had a profound impact on culture and art throughout history. The image of the labyrinth and the Minotaur appeared in countless works of art, literature, and architecture, often symbolizing the struggle between reason and chaos or the journey through life's complexity. In psychology, the labyrinth is sometimes used as a metaphor for the mind's inner workings, with the Minotaur representing the darker, hidden aspects of the psyche that must be confronted and understood. The myth's themes of sacrifice, heroism, and the consequences of defying the divine have resonated through the ages, influencing not just artistic expression, but also philosophical and ethical discussions. The story of Theseus and the Minotaur has been reinterpreted in various ways, reflecting the changing values and concerns of different cultures and eras. Despite these changes, the core elements of the myth, courage, intelligence, and the triumph over darkness, remain relevant demonstrating the enduring power of these ancient stories. Modern Interpretations In modern times, the Minotaur continues to be a powerful symbol in popular culture. The myth has been retold in various forms, including novels, films, and video games, often exploring new angles or placing the story in contemporary settings. The Minotaur is frequently depicted as a symbol of the monstrous within, representing the internal battles that individuals must face. In literature and film, the labyrinth has become a popular metaphor for complex and challenging situations where the hero must navigate through confusion and danger to achieve their goal. These modern interpretations often explore the psychological aspects of the myth, delving into themes of identity, fear, and the human condition. The Minotaur's dual nature as both man and beast makes it an ideal figure for exploring the conflict between civilized behavior and primal instinct. Whether in the context of personal growth, societal challenges, or psychological struggle, the story of the Minotaur continues to resonate, offering insights into the human experience. The Enduring Relevance of the Myth The enduring appeal of the Minotaur myth lies in its exploration of universal themes that continue to resonate with audiences today. The story delves into the complexities of human nature, consequences of actions, and the challenges that must be overcome to achieve greatness. It reminds us that heroism is not just about strength and bravery, but also about intelligence, resourcefulness, and the willingness to confront the darker aspects of ourselves and our world. As a cautionary tale, the myth of the Minotaur warns of the dangers of hubris and the importance of respecting the natural order. It also celebrates the power of human ingenuity and courage in the face of overwhelming odds. In a world that often feels as complex and confusing as the labyrinth itself, the story of Theseus and the Minotaur continues to inspire, offering lessons in resilience, determination, and the enduring human spirit. Thank you for joining us on this journey through legend and lore. Subscribe for more mythical tales and epic legends.